Hi, welcome to KD Cyber Talks. In this video, we are going to see how does the Google Cloud encrypt your data while it is stored in the Google Cloud. So Google Cloud uh, uses the several layers of encryption to protect the customer data at rest in the Google Cloud products. For example, the Google Drive, Google Photos. The Google Cloud encrypts all the customer contents stored at rest without um, expecting any action from the customer side. And the customer doesn't know at, you know, at, uh, at which stage and when exactly their data is going to be encrypted, but it is all encrypted throughout. The data for the storage in the uh, is split it into the chunks and each chunk is encrypted with a unique data encryption key. These data encryption keys are stored with the data but encrypted with the another key which is, is stored somewhere else and uh, which is the Google's uh, KMS key management service. So let's check it out. Watch this video till the end. How does it work? We have uh, different layers in the, in the encryption. The encryption is a process which converts the plain text to the ciphertext. Ciphertext is something which is not readable and not reversible without having a encryption key or the decryption key. The encryption adds the layer of defense uh, in depth for the protecting the data. The encryption ensures that if the data accidentally falls into an attacker's hand, they cannot access the data without also having access to the encryption keys. The encryption at rest reduces the surface of attack. The Google Cloud uses the several layer of encryption to protect the data using the multiple layers of encryption adds the redundant data protection and that allows us to select the optimal approach based on the application requirement. And all the data which is stored in the Google Cloud is encrypted at the storage level using AES-256 algorithm with the execution uh, with the exception of um, uh, of a small number of persistent disks that are created before 2015 and there it uses AES 128 bit just because of the incompatibility. In most of the cases, the data is also encrypted at the storage um, layer um, which is uh, you know uh, AES 256 for the hard drives, for hard disk and uh, for the solid state. And uh, that is this layer here. We can we can clearly see this hardware layer. It is for like HDD and SDD, uh, SSD. Um, this is the layer where it, it encrypts the data um, using AES-256 and AES-128 bit uh, algorithm. And then we have the upper layer where uh, we have infrastructure. So in this video, we are going to focus on at the infrastructure layer, how these files are distributed, how the data is chunked into, uh, you know, the different chunks and how these chunks are distributed to the different uh, um, uh, Google uh, infrastructure uh, and how these chunks are encrypted using the unique keys. And uh, we have then platform and the database and the file storage level and every application of the GCP service, the Google Cloud Platform service, which is um, um, storing that data or accessing that data, how every different service is going to access that data or to decrypt and encrypt that data. This is where we upload the data and this is where uh, once we upload the data or we create some content in the cloud, it just breaks them into the different chunks and each chunk is encrypted with its own key. So the data when it is broken into the subfile chunks for storage, each chunk can be up to the several GBs in size. Each chunk is encrypted at the storage level with an individual encryption key. and two different chunks will not have the same encryption key. For example, we have two chunks here. So we will have two different keys, 
key 1 and key 2 for the different chunks. It is not going to be the common one here. At the storage object which is owned by the same customer or it is uh, stored on the same machine. If a chunk of the data is updated, it is encrypted with the new key uh, rather than by reusing the existing key. This partition of the data each using a different key means the uh, blast radius of a plus, uh, potential data encryption key compromise is limited to only that particular data chunk. The Google encrypts the data prior to it being returned to the disk or, um, or returned to uh, the, the cloud infrastructure. The encryption is inherent in all of the Google um, Google's storage system rather than um, added on afterward. Each data chunk has a unique identifier and it is applied the access control list to ensure that the each, uh, uh, each uh, data chunk can be uh, decrypted only by the Google services operating under the authorized roles. This prevents the access to the data without authorization and is strengthening the both the security and the privacy. So, here when we uh, talk about the ACL um, applied to each data chunk or uh, the, the data chunk is going to have a unique identifier. So, this is how this each chunk is going to be segregated uh, to the different uh, um, um, to the different uh, Google storage infrastructure across um, uh, and um, this is how this access um, this data chunk is going to have the different ACLs so that it is only accessed to the required Google services. Um, after the um, after proving the uh, the authenticity or um, based on the access control list and each chunk where uh, we can see here uh, this chunk which was uploaded on uh, the data which was uploaded on the Google Cloud storage this is chunked into the different uh, different data chunks and then it is distributed across the Google storage systems and replicated in the encrypted form of uh, form for backup and for disaster recovery. And also uh, the malicious individual who wanted to access the customer data would need to know and be able to access um, two things. Number one, all storage chunks corresponding to uh, that data they want and the encryption key that is correspond to the different chunks because each chunk will have the different keys. And um, to read the original data, the owner or the attacker will need the all, all these chunks to be together. How these key wrap and wrap works? Um, basically, uh, here we have, uh, we, we will see that uh, uh, this is the, this is the Google service. Uh, okay. On this Google service, we have this data encrypted with the uh, with the uh, green key, which is a data encryption key. So green key is the data encryption key, and red key is the key encryption key. So anything which is stored on this uh, on this service on its uh, on its instance, everything is encrypted with the DEK data encryption key, and this DEK is encrypted using um, this DEC. So whenever this service is supposed to access something or to write something, this uh, key is supposed to be decrypted first. So this service will request to the KMS, to the Google KMS that I need this key in clear. And this key request will go to the Google KMS uh, and this Google KMS will decrypt uh, this DEC because um, this DEC is actually encrypted with this uh, with the CAC and CAC is stored in the Google KMS. So these, these are all uh, key encryption keys which are stored in red here on the Google KMS. And after that request this Google KMS will return the unwrapped DEK so that the service can, um, can just uh, decrypt the data accordingly. And similarly, every DEK is, in, is, uh, is generated uh, here on this service and to be, uh, to be sent to 
this Google KMS so that it can be stored in the wrapped form by KEK on the same instance. How the key hierarchy and root of trust look like? Um, so, KMS is um, KMS is you know something which runs on the multiple machines in the data centers uh, globally. Uh, we have different layers. For example, the data is encrypted using the DAX, uh, the data encryption key, and uh, then we have uh, this DAC which is encrypted by KEK. And these KEKs, the key encryption keys, are encrypted. Uh, in, in kept uh, encrypted in the root KMS, and uh, these KEKs are encrypted under the root KMS master key, which is stored in the highly secure device in the data centers. Which is in most of the cases, these are fifth uh, highly secure devices, which are like uh, fifth certified or common criteria certified, which are kept inside the data centers, physical data centers, and not in the cloud to keep all all these. Uh, uh, these the master keys are very secure um, that is the reason they are kept or stored inside a very uh, uh, secure device and those devices are kept in the uh, physical data centers at the back end. So, the KMS um, keys are wrapped with the KMS master keys which is stored in the root KMS. Um, uh, for example, these, these DEKs are encrypted with these KEKs and these KEKs are, uh, are stored in the root KMS encrypted under the uh, master keys. So, it is like um, the KMS master is encrypting the KEKs and here the KEKs are encrypting DEK. Okay? So, this, uh, this is the hierarchy and this, this um, and then further this uh, DEK is encrypting the customer data. And uh, this, uh, this KMS master key is stored in the secure device in the data center um, at the back end. So, this is how the key hierarchy works and uh, root of trust is maintained in the Google Cloud. I hope you like the video. With this, I, um, I complete this uh, session. I hope you like the video uh, content in this tutorial. Please tell me in the comment section. Thank you. Thanks for watching.